So this has just been set up, um, but it gives you a good example of what um, what is uh, you know how's the flooding and, and draining of a of a bio garden. Uh, just about all of them, except we don't usually uh, do it. Uh, we don't. Well, this hasn't been a standard until recently. That's actually very convenient to uh, uh, just set our system up this way. But um, we have a trickle valve that water can come in and drain out of, which is pretty awesome. We would usually put a trickle valve in on the on the uh, anterior end, and if it's a long enough table on the posterior end, and if it's even a longer table, uh, one or two somewhere in the middle. Uh, it works out well to have a bed stacked over the tanks because in any water, if you happen to have any any flooding or anything else, you can well, your water will catch down below, but we don't see that happening here. Um, uh, this is a this is a uh, um, this right here is sort of a just a, uh, a setup right now is either a, a trough for growing fish fry crawfish shrimp uh, or plants uh, as in this case duckweed which is my favorite aquatic plant and um, and or growing plants in trays with a typical uh, deep water culture method. But the valve, valve uh, system works pretty cool here. We're just uh, we're filling to a certain level. We are draining at that level. Uh, we can we can feed duckweed to the fish below just by opening up our little exposure. Get that big leaf out of there. Um, and then that, of course, becomes fish fodder down here. And. We're draining uh, from the uh, from this tank, which has had ammonia removed uh, to a large part by the duckweed and by the uh, by the filtering bed above, which is converting the ammonias to nitrate with the um, with the nitrifier bacteria. So that comes back down here. We get a more nit a nitrified water in here. Um, if we want more ammonia in this level, because duckweed loves ammonia. Then we can we can have water fill in this side of the trough um, from the tank below, which is it's coming up now. But instead, of, it's bypassing the trough and going to the upper bed. Um, but we can have water go directly from the tank below into this trough, which would have ammonia-rich uh, conditions, good for the duckweed, and then bring that um, from either end up to the beds above on this flood and drain system. The cool thing about this is we can run our line, our hose, right out of this trickle valve and into the beds. And it'll also drain back right out of that same valve. So this is uh, this is something that I think uh, aquaponics folks that are building their own designs and creating their own systems will appreciate and certainly uh, uh, hydroponics as well. Uh, we like bioponics. Uh, bioponics is all natural, and we don't, rely the, we don't require a fish. We don't rely on the fish. We certainly don't use manufactured fertilizers at all. Absolutely unnecessary. And we can produce a lot more nutrients than you can get from these synthetic sources or mine sources. Um, particularly since plants are the new, are the store of nutrients that plants uh, desire. Uh, everything that's been mined out of the ground by plants. Are the very things that other plants will uh, um, uh, be very satisfied to receive, not just something that comes out of a bag that's got mostly NPK and then a little bit of sea salt in it or who knows what else. So, and where the NPK comes from is another story in and of itself, which uh, doesn't even deserve attention anymore. We just need alternatives, and this is it. So, anyway, this is our uh, hoop house. We offer that um, when we provide these systems as an option um, with and without the, the canopies. Um, canopies of, uh, could be of mylar, which we would use more on, a, on our frame that goes that sort of boxes in uh, with the uh, aluminum pipes, which connect to there. But we would use mylar if we have a light on the inside. Otherwise, plastic, clear plastic as a uh, cold frame in the winter and as a uh, rain protector in the summer, if necessary. Um, or um, a, uh, uh, a shade cloth, which is uh, becoming more and more important everywhere, it seems, uh, throughout the summer months. And uh, to keep the squirrels out, too. That's a great thing. 
we put these inside a greenhouse with the cart with the tarp on top of it uh, as well because it adds extra heat and the cool thing about this is you heat up the beds which are dark stones during the day when the sun's out the water trickles over the beds uh, as long or as, as quickly as you'd like for them to based on their timer um, and then that warm water uh, uh, is transferred to these two tanks now if we cover the the sides of this here or they cover the top of the, the trough there we can retain that heat and the thermal mass of the water will keep the beds warm at night and the space inside of the dome at night um, uh, because uh, disseminating that that heat again uh, in the course of the evening will will just be acting like a like a perfect body of, of a perfect heat storage um, and a and a an efficient way of using it because we're trapping all the space in around the plants and around the beds so we're not losing uh, we're not losing that heat anywhere. We cover these back up at night also or cover those back up uh, keep them covered uh, day and night. So anyway, that's uh, that's how this this is designed to work. Um, if you're looking at just a bio garden. Uh, um, with a tank below that works fabulous um, this is an added feature you can either add square footage you can you can uh, uh, you can grow um, you can grow additional fish or a different type of fish or a fish feed or a chicken feed as in the case of duckweed livestock feed really really valuable stuff grows tremendously well in here um, and uh, and that's about it to get going so if uh, if you uh, if you if if you're ready, just getting started out. Some place to start is just a, a trough like this, uh, a tank, a couple of troughs, a little bed like a little four by four system, um, or single um, you know troughs that have the trickle valves, and uh, you can connect them to to an existing tank or use a tank like this. But uh, go on to bioponica.org and learn more about how we're making fertilizer from from green. Um, resources and what types of nutrients we're getting out of what types of leaves and plant matter that are or food waste or animal hair or what have you that we're using to decompose uh, what are the plants looking for what are plants looking for different types of the times of the year uh, how do we optimize plants so they grow more like they grew during the uh, uh, some of the older eras when the soils were extremely rich with nutrients and um, and uh, plants grew much much healthier and as did the animals and such that we're living in these in those days but we can recreate that we just need to stop sending our nutrients down the drain and uh, into the landfill so I'm David and you can see more at bioponica.net or bioponica.org and uh, uh, look forward to hearing from you